Welcome to Fighting Saints Weekly, another edition of our program, and thanks for joining us. Busy week for Dubuque, three games on tap. Wednesday, they took on the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders. Friday at home against Des Moines, Irish Night, presented by O'Toole Office Supply. Saturday, Fighting Saints in a Prairie Farms Cowbell Cup matchup against the Waterloo Blackhawks. Last time in the 13-14 regular season, they battle with their foes. They head to the Young Arena for that one. With Eric behind the camera, I'm Zach Fish, the voice of the Fighting Saints. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the program. Busy week last week of Fighting Saints hockey. Pair of games as Dubuque went 1-1 one one at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Al Capone made sure that he got his way in Al Capone night on Friday. The Chicago Steel in town and the Chicago Mobster made sure the Steel got the best of the Saints. 4-0 final. And then, of course, a big bounce-back victory for Dubuque. 6-1 over the Sioux Falls Stampede on Saturday. Great game for the Fighting Saints. Jared Primatero, the Gordie Howe hat trick. We got our call of the week upcoming. Great events last week for the Dubuque Fighting Saints as well. Get to those momentarily. But reminder, Irish night is this upcoming Friday night. Des Moines Buccaneers in town. And this one's going to be fun. Wear your green. We'll have Kiss Me, I'm a Saint shirts available once again this year. The Irish dancers uh, will be on full display. Going to be a fun one. Pre probably my favorite theme night of the year. I'm going to have the green shirt. I'm going to have the lucky tie on. Get lucky with the Fighting Saints Friday night at the Mystique Community Ice Center. 563-583-6880. Also a fun for 49. Four tickets in the icebox section, as well as a couple programs, a couple kids' zone vouchers, and a chuck a puck for everyone. Just $40 when purchased in advance. What a deal for the families out there. Well, let's get to the highlights from last week. We'll start on Friday night. The Saints taking on the Chicago Steel, and we'd have a fight early in the game, but it'd be the Steel that would score first. Robbie Jackson, 39 seconds in. It was pretty much all Chicago from that point on. C.J. Smith had a pair of goals in period number one, and then they added one more from Mason Berg in the second period. Ben Johansson, great in relief, stopped 20 of 20, but the Fighting Saints fall by a final score of 4-0 on Al Capone night. Let me tell you, the gangster fedora hats looked cool. Signed by players. Vans had a fun time with that. Thanks for coming out and joining us. 2,700 plus at the Mystique Community Ice Center to see the Fighting Saints. Unfortunately, difficult loss, but in a fun promotional evening. Saturday, the Fighting Saints got back on track, and boy, did they look good. But classy move by the Dubuque Fighting Saints organization before the game. Art Bry was honored by the Fighting Saints for helping the Saints win the Clark Cup. Presented his championship ring. First time in Dubuque on the other side of the ice as a member of the Sioux Falls Stampede. And while that was a kind gesture, the Saints were not too kind for their former goaltender in the game. Dubuque rattled off six goals in the 6-1 win. Six goals on just 21 shots. They'd score in the first period early and often. Robbie Darrow opened the scoring, and just a few minutes later, Carson Kuhlman with a goal that's nominated for the USHL Sauce Hockey Play of the Week. What an individual effort. He wraps the puck around and scores. 2-0 at that time. Dylan Gambrell would make it 3-0 in the second period. The Fighting Saints would get a few more goals, one coming from Jacob Benson on the rebound after Privatera scored a crafty goal. Then it was Benson's turn on the second effort. And then the third period after Sioux Falls got one lone goal on Kevin Rice, who played well, it would be a great penalty shot goal for Brett Boeing. 6-1 final, great bounce back win for Dubuque. Also, we're on the topic of Saturday. It was girls' night out at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Head coach Matt Shaw had a chance to speak to the ladies beforehand, as did Oliver David. There was a chocolate and wine tasting. Over 80 women signed up for this event. It was awesome to see the ladies come out and have fun. They got stemless wine glasses. Great stuff on Saturday at the Mystique Community Ice Center on Girls' Night Out, presented by DBQ Fashions. Well, some big plays for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. We mentioned one was up for the CCM, or you beg your pardon, the USHL Sauce Hockey Play of the Week. That was Carson Kuhlman's goal. You can vote on USHL.com. Also happens to be our Call of the Week. Fans, it's time for the Call of the Week, presented by Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite and U.S. Cellular. Make sure to stop by their 4th and Locust and Asbury and JFK locations. <laughs> Puck to send it. Here's Kuhlman right side. He pushes it wide with a great move. He cuts in front. Kuhlman! Two bad steps by Garland. Goes in! Carson Kuhlman makes it 2-0. The Saints strike again. It just barely squeaks through. And they're on their feet. They love it here in the view. Critical cellular and satellite. Your U.S. cellular and direct TV one-stop shop in the tri-state area. Stop into their fourth and locust location to save some money. Plus, visit their new location now open at JFK in Asbury. Pinnacle can create a bundle for your TV, home phone, internet, and cell phones. Like Pinnacle Cellular and Satellite on Facebook to see their ongoing specials. And don't forget to visit their new location at JFK in Asbury. Great goal by Carson Kuhlman. Good day of hockey for Dubuque on Saturday, 6-1 final. 
Next day, the Fighting Saints getting out in the community and meeting with season ticket holders. It was our Bowling with the Saints at Fisher Lanes. Number of season ticket holders, full season ticket holders signed up and joined the Fighting Saints and got in on the bowling action. Great to see some smiling faces out there at Fisher Lanes and the guys get involved. Some pretty good bowlers out there. I think Jeff Aldifer had one of the high scores and a nice picture in the paper of one of our season ticket holders' sons. Ashley's son was in the paper with Jeff Aldifer. Very cool to see. Ultimately a fun event on Sunday at Fisher Lanes. All part of being a season ticket holder, season ticket renewals, as well as pay as we play are up now. You can give us a call at 563-583-6880 for more info. We'll see you Friday night at the Mystique Community Ice Center. Just five regular season home games remain for Dubuque. Push for the playoffs is on. Saints right now going into this week, sit in second place in the USHL's Eastern Conference. Lots of great games upcoming. The Cowbell Cup race is on as well. That'll do it for Fighting Saints Weekly. For Eric, I'm Zach. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week. The push for the playoffs is here. More Fighting Saints hockey upcoming down the stretch. So make sure you join us each and every game, including Friday, the Mystique Community Ice Center. See you next week.